In this video, you're going to learn how to do operations involving scientific notation numbers. So we're going to talk about adding numbers that are in scientific notation, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. We're going to go through four examples. Let's dive in. The first example, we've got 3 times 10 to the fifth power plus 2 times 10 to the fourth power. Now the problem with these two numbers is they're not the same orders of magnitude. What do I mean by that? This is 10 to the fourth. This is 10 to the fifth. This is clearly a larger number. So how do we add them together? What I like to do is I like to take the number that's a smaller order of magnitude and get it to match the one that's the larger order of magnitude. What I mean by that is let's go ahead and add one to this exponent. What did I just do? I made the number larger by a power of 10. So to counterbalance that, I need to make this number here smaller by a power of 10 by moving that decimal one place to the left. Now, if I made this larger by two, I'd have to move this two decimal places to the left, etc. So here, what our number is now, it's gonna be 0 0.2 times 10 to the fifth. This is three times 10 to the fifth. Now we're dealing with numbers that are of the same order of magnitude, the same power of 10. We can add them together now. We can say three plus 0 0.2 is 3.2 times 10 to the fifth power, and you got it. Remember, a number in scientific notation, it has a number from one to nine in front of the decimal point, the rest of the significant digits, and then times 10 to a power. It could be positive or negative power. Now for number two, same idea, but here we're subtracting. But notice this is 10 to the seventh, this is 10 to the sixth. So same idea, I'm gonna go ahead and make this number larger by a power of 10 by adding one, okay? To the exponent, but when I make it larger, I don't want to change the value of this number. I have to then make this smaller by a power of 10 by moving that decimal one place to the left. So that's going to become 0 0.3 times 10 to the seventh. This is 5 times 10 to the seventh. And now they're the same orders of magnitude, the same powers of 10. So I can say 5 minus 0.3, which is 4.7 times 10 to the seventh and we subtracted the two numbers. Let's take a look at multiplying and dividing next. Okay, for number three, we have two times 10 to the third power times eight times 10 to the fourth power. Now, when you're multiplying, you don't have to worry about these being the same orders of magnitude. What you wanna do is you wanna multiply these numbers together and the powers of 10 together. So here we have two times eight, which we know is 16, but when we multiply these powers of 10 together, 10 cubed times 10 to the fourth, when you multiply and you have the same base, you add the exponents, so three plus four is seven. Now when we look at this number, it's not in scientific notation, so how do we put it into scientific notation? Well right now the decimal point is understood to be on the right side of this number. We really want this decimal point to be right here with just a single digit in front of the decimal point. We want it to be 1.6, but notice we made this number smaller by a power of 10. Okay, when you move it to the left, you're making it smaller. To counterbalance that, we have to make this larger by a power of 10. Now, if I move this two places, I'd be making it smaller by, uh, you know, 10, 100. So I'd have to make this larger by adding two. If you move it three places, you have to make this three. Now, what happens if you move it the other way? Well, then you're making it larger, you'd have to subtract and make this smaller. You're trying to counterbalance so you don't change the overall value of the number. So in this case, we get 1.6 times 10 to the eighth, and you've got it in scientific notation. Now number four, we're dividing two scientific numbers. Now you might wanna set it up like this. Three times 10 to the sixth is being divided by six times 10 to the fourth. Remember the fraction bar is like division. So what we do is we divide these numbers and we divide the powers of 10. So 3 divided by 6 is 0 0.5, right, or a half. And when we divide and we have the same base, what do we do to the exponents? We subtract them. So 6 minus 4 is 2. So this is 10 squared. But again, notice this is not in scientific notation. We want a single digit from 1 to 9 to the left or in front of the decimal point and the rest of the significant digits on the right. So I'm gonna to have to move this decimal point one place to the right. In effect, making this number larger by a power of 10. Remember, when you move the decimal to the right, it's getting bigger, right? So to counterbalance that, I'm gonna to have to make this smaller by a power of 10. So if I move this two places, I'd have to adjust this by two, see? So this comes out to five times 10 to the first, 
and we've got it. So great job. If you want to see more examples about scientific notation, I'll put a video right there. I've got over a thousand videos on my Mars Math Tutor and YouTube channel so far as of the, this recording. So check out more of my videos and playlists to help you in your math. I'll see you in my videos. I'll see you then.